In this video, we're going to look at solving quadratic equations. And we've got the steps up here. The first one is to make equations equal to zero, then factorize, set each term equal to zero, and then solve each mini equation. So for the first one here, uh, step one, make equation equal to zero. Well, it's already equal to zero, so we're fine there. Two, factorize. Well, using my factorizing steps up here, first I look for a common factor, then a difference of two squares and then quadratic factorizing. Well, in the first one, there is a common factor, and that's x. So I'm going to take the x out, and I'm left with x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now I'll set each term equal to 0. So that means we're going to have x is 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. And now solve each mini equation. Well, the first one's already solved. x can be 0. But to solve the second one, I must add 1 to each side to get x on its own and I get x equals 1. So my answer to the first one are x equals 0 and x equals 1. So second one, one, the one with the y's. So first thing I've got to make sure is get my equation equal to 0. So I'm going to take away 6 and take away y to both sides. So on the left-hand side, I've got a y squared. I've got minus 4y minus y, so that's minus 5y. And I've got a minus 6 equal to 0. So that's good. Um, factorise. Well, common factor, there's no common factors. It's not a difference of two squares, as there's three terms. So we've got to look at our quadratic factorising. So what have I got? Well, here, if I get my grid out, y squared and negative 6, I'm looking for two terms that multiply to get negative 6, but add to get negative 5. Well, that must be, and there's only one option, is negative 6 and positive 1. So let's put them into our grid. So negative 6y and y, and factorise, find the highest common factor on the rows and columns. So we're going to get y at minus 6, y and plus 1. So what I can now do is transform that equation into its factorised form and we would have so we're going to have y plus 1 y minus 6 is equal to 0. So now I've got it in the factorised form I can now write these as two mini equations equal to 0. So I'm going to have y plus 1 is equal to 0, or y minus 6 equal to 0. Now we need to solve these two. So minus 1 for both sides for that one, plus 6 to that side. And I'm left with y equals minus 1, and y equals 6, and there's my answer. Okay, let's look at our last one here. 5x cubed minus 20x equals 0. Bring in our steps. So the first one is make uh, equation equal to 0. That's done. Second is factorise. Well, there is a common factor here, so let's take that out. That seems to be 5x. So then we are left with x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we've still got a quadratic term, x squared minus 4. Well, that's the difference of two squares. So we've got 5x, x minus 2, x plus 2 equal 0. Okay, now set each term equal to uh, 0. So we will have uh, 5x is equal to 0, x minus 2 equal to 0, and x plus 2 equal to 0. Let me just make that a bit more of a plus. Solve each mini equation. Well, so divide by 5 to get x on its own there. Add 2 to both sides to get x x on its own, and take away 2 to get x on its own. So we're left with x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals negative 